Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel, my name's Paul. Look at my shirt, Mad Dog Adventures. And with the motto on the back, and the Mavic Mini giveaway competition guys, this is taking a lot longer than I hoped, it will happen. But some of you have been so loyal entering every video that on Thursday the 13th, which is next Thursday, 13th of May, I'm going to give away two of these shirts. So I'll do a live feed and I'll just take, I'll put all the uh, envelopes in the bag from all the uh, old videos and I'll pick two of the envelopes out and I'll pick two. If the same person gets their name picked twice, guys, I'm going to pick again because I do want one of these excellent shirts to go to two of you. So that's what we'll do on Thursday. It'll be at 8 p.m. West Australian time, which, oh, sorry, guys. I'll find out in the wrap up at the end of this video what time that is in England and California and things. But for now, oh, I better tell you where we're going. I'm just about to go and pick up Janet from work and we're going to head down to Wage and, and Dumble Young Cookerin for the weekend. But for now, let's roll the intro. Morning guys. Here we are in Wagen, staying at the Wagen Motel. What a beautiful morning. Now, I'm wearing my shirt again, so if you think I'm wearing the same shirt all through the video, I do have three of them. Um, they're designed by Mr. Design, so if you need any stuff done, t-shirts, stickers, anything, he can send them anywhere else, anywhere in the world. I'll put a link down below so you can find him. We've got a few things to do today. Um, we've been invited to watch the sunset by the farm owners at Lake Dumbleyung, which is where Donald Campbell broke the world water speed record in his boat, the Bluebird, back in 1964. Same year he broke the world land speed record on Lake Eyre in South Australia, so it was a big year. But anyway, I'm gonna go and have a shower and get ready. Wake Janet up. Uh, we'll make the code word for here, motel. I'm gonna go and have a wander around town while Janet gets ready. An amazing hotel. We've got the Palace Hotel over there. I can't find the age of that one, but this is the old Mitchell Hall Hotel, Federal Hotel now it's called, I think. Uh, Mitchell's Restaurant. Uh, this was built in 1895. Look at this. This really is an amazing old town, but I'll keep wandering around, show you some old buildings. And this is the old courthouse. Um, it looks like a really modern building, but it was built in 1912. Beautiful old building. And look at this one, guys. This is Moran's Wagen Hotel. What a beautiful, beautiful old building. Now, you can see that there was a lot of money in this town in its day. The original pub was built in 1888, but that was demolished and this one was built. They're not sure if it was in 1900 or 1904, the records were lost, but yeah. The Palace Hotel's just on that corner. The Mitchell Hall Hotel's on that corner. Moran's Wage and Hotel's on this corner. They're all gorgeous very expensive old buildings in their time so this really must have been a thriving little town back in the early 1900s and we'll make the code word for the three hotels the same as the code word in the historic pubs of perth video and the wage and train station i can't find a plaque anywhere here but it's very similar style to the town hall and the courthouse so i'm guessing we're in the 1910 1920 I can't understand why there's train cars in the car park because it's it's not a passenger terminal. Oh, I don't think I'll find out more information for you. But I've never heard of passenger trains coming this way. Cresswell's department store. Now, the original building was built in about 1920. And, um, it's not the Cresswell fans, as you can see at the top there, it was Cresswell's originally. It's not the Cresswell family anymore, I just found out. They've, um, they just bought the name. 
but this whole town oh and I found out about the train station it's not a passenger station I didn't think so it's um, they're just the train drivers parked over there it's just for carting grain and etc See up the top there you can see it says Cresswell's Handy Stores so we'll make the code word handy and one of my videos wouldn't be the same without a picture of a mural and it does look a bit weird there's a rainbow colored elephant holding a guy's phone the guy trying to get the phone while a sheep holds him onto the bonnet of I think it's a Aussie Ford Cortina but if you read that plaque over there it's an anti-texting while you're driving mural it says on that plaque that if you look at your phone for five seconds at 100 kilometres an hour, that's the same as driving from one end of the MCG to the other, which is the biggest cricket ground in Australia. Um, so it does have a meaning. And here we are at the historic tourist village. It's also the information centre, so We'll make the code word for here, the same as the information centre in all the last videos. And look who's behind me here, hiding away, <laughs> wearing, what a beautiful t-shirt she's wearing there. <laughs> and now we're inside the historical village. Um, this isn't actually where all these buildings are from, but most of them were rebuilt here from original. Most of the brickwork you know, has been taken from original buildings, rebuilt here. Look at this old mud brick cottage. Um, yep, well worth the $6 entry fee. But we're going to have a look around. I'll show you a bit of B-roll. Yeah, I could show you everything here, but there's just too much. Every time I turn around the corner, there's more stuff. So you're just going to have to come here and have a look for yourselves, guys. It is well, well worth the $6 entry fee. Now, we've discussed all the big things in Australia. I showed you the big orange in Harvey. Well, this is the big merino. Um, I also said in the Meriden video, I think, that um, Australia was born on the sheep's back. It was wool that made us what we are today, wool and gold, but it's said that Australia was born on the sheep's back, so this is quite significant. This one's 13 metres long, 9 metres high, and weighs 4 tonne. And that the ram. We've also got barbecues, play area, picnic area. Come down and have your lunch. What a beautiful little spot. Now, Wajin's really surprising me, guys. I didn't think there'd be anything here, but this is just quite amazing. Even a little water park over there, which we'll go and have a look at. Wow, look at this. Now, this is kind of a little nature reserve right in the middle of Wajin. It's where the, the merino's just there, so we're still in the same little park. This is just amazing, guys. Now. If you're going to Albany or coming back from Albany, there's a little detour from, if you're coming from Albany, you turn just before Arthur River and the road takes you back to just before Wajin. It's only a little detour, guys, and mate, look at this. This old town, the historical village we were just at, it's well worth making that little detour. What an amazing job they've done here. Now we're at Punta Pin Rock, just on the outskirts of Wajin and we're gonna to hike to the top. The things I do for you guys, and we'll make the code word for here, rock. Before we head up there, I wanna say a special thanks to the local Noongar people for sharing this amazing piece of country with us all. This is a very significant site. There's a, an ancient track that leads from the south coast up through Wajin Lake to Punta Pin Rock, up into Dumble Young Lakes, and it finishes up at Wave Rock, if you remember in the Hyden video. So this is a very, very significant um, landmark for the local Noongar people. We're about halfway up the rock. 
excuse my painting. Got this little wall going around, which will be another water catchment area, like we saw at Wave Rock and at Meriden. And here we are at the top of Punta Pin Rock. It was a little bit of a walk, nothing really. I'm just a little bit puffed because it was uphill, but now nah, it's fine. Easy walk and well worth it when you get up here. I'll put the drone up and show you properly. Okay, so here we are on Lake Dumbuyung. Uh, this is where Donald Campbell broke the world water speed record at 444.6 kilometers an hour. Sorry guys, if you want to know miles per hour, you're going to have to look that up yourself. Um, this is Lou and Candice. They're Lou's farm's over that side of the lake. Candice is just here. They were nice enough to bring us up here and they bought champagne and wine and snacks. It's very nice. You're very passionate about this. Why don't, why don't you tell us a little bit about the lake? The lake. One man, his dream. Okay. It's our lake. Donald Campbell's just, uh, he, when he came here in 64, he had a passion, he had a dream and he, he, he did it. It he is did it. pretty amazing. So it was amazing. Yeah. Yep. I'll put the drone up guys and show you the course that he had and um, we'll race along there the same he did. <laughs> but for now, we're going to eat some of these snacks. Thank you very much, girls. Cheers. See Come guys. to Dumbledore. I forgot to say when we were there guys, Pussycat Hill, the lookout where that we were at, is a public lookout. Anyone can go there, but Lou and Candice are very passionate about it and they're more than happy to meet any of you out there. I'll leave a link down below where you can get in contact with Louisa. Sunday morning now. A few things to do today. We'll go to Cookerin, um, show you around Dumbleyung. Beautiful, look at this. Sun rising over there. We're at the Gotti Hotel, the grand old Dumbleyung Inn. Beautiful spot. I'll show you the building now in the drone. We had a really nice steak for dinner. Janet had land chops and well, I left my watch in the room. We're going for breakfast in about half an hour. Look at this guys, absolutely amazing. And this is the back of the pub here. Isn't that beautiful? And if I turn around, this is a free 72 hour parking bay. I've shown you a few of the parking bays in Pingley and um, Harvey and things. Well, this one's a year round. Self-contained vans, of course, but you've got right access to the pub right here. So this is the bust of Donald Campbell here. In 1964, he'd achieved the world land speed record on Lake Eyre in South Australia. And he wanted to do the land speed and the water speed records both in the same year. And because the snow was melting over east, the lake that he was going to do it on there was over full. And um, they have to do two runs. They have to do one run down the lake and then straight away turn around and do another run up the lake. So the two runs for it to be recognised as a world record. And when they were going down the lake, it was causing so many ripples in the, in the water that it was impossible them for them to come back up the lake. And when uh, a Mr. Ward in Dumbleyung from the Dumbleyung Ski Club read about this, he said, well, he said to the rest of the ski club, why don't we contact them and tell them about here? So they contacted Donald Campbell's team. Straight away, they flew over here. They took one look at Lake Dumbleyung and decided this was the place to do it. And he managed to get the world land speed record and the world water speed record in the same year, 1964. I don't. And this is the replica of the bluebird. Imagine sitting in this 450 almost kilometres an hour. Just amazing. Very, very brave, determined man. We're at the old Dumbleyum train station. Just over the other side of the train tracks there. That's where we stayed last night, the Gotti, the grand old Dumbleyum Inn. But the train station's now the 
Dumble Young Historical Society. So you just come around to this door and um, there's a phone number there and a lockbox. They give you the code to the lockbox. You can let yourself in, it's all an honor system. But all around here, guys, really, I, I say this a lot, but I really am surprised. I came to Wagen and Dumble Young thinking I'd maybe make a seven or eight minute video. But there's so much stuff to see, just amazing. And if you remember yesterday at the sunset, Candice and Lou said, one man his dream our lake. That's the motto for Dumble Young. Go on and have a look at the Donald Campbell display. I've actually got a little cafe in there. It smells amazing, but we've already had breakfast, which was really good, but the bacon and eggs in here smells yummy. Make the code word for the whole of Dumble Young in I N N E for the grand old Dumble Young Inn. And this is the Cooker and Hotel, another amazing old building. They've spent a bit of money on this one. Unbelievable meals in here, guys. Really, really good food. So if you're on your way to Esperance, if you remember in the Shh, We're Hunting Whales videos, we visited the Yabby Farm. That's just down the road here. That's, that was in Cookerin. We'll go and visit those people but I've already showed you that so we won't actually film it. Got a little bouncy bag here, the big bag full of air for the kids to bounce on. Playground over there and just across the road from the pub there's Janet having a bit of a stretch before we go do a bit more driving. Actually we're on our way home. Barbecues, nice little barbecue table. So yeah guys, a great place to have a little break on the way to Esperance. Um, if you remember in the Shh, We're Hunting Whales videos, guys, we went into Cambinata Yabbies and they explained all about yabby farming. It's just down the road from Cookerin, so we're going to go in and say hello. We've already filmed in there, so I'm not going to bother today, but check out the Shh, We're Hunting Whales videos. And when you're coming this way, look out for this sign. Okay, we just pulled over, do my wrap up on the side of the road. Look, guys everywhere you look rubbish 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 please there's rubbish bins over there if there's no rubbish bins keep your rubbish in your car all around here everywhere you look rubbish and now i've had my little whinge what a great weekend wagen dumble young amazing louisa and candice thank you so much for the sunset on the lake that was amazing now remember guys i'll be doing the live feed on 8 p.m on thursday west australian time which is sorry 5 a.m in los angeles or 1 p.m thursday in london um, and we'll be giving away thank you baby two of these t-shirts for thanking you for being so loyal in the mavic mini giveaway competition and waiting so long and if you don't know what the mavic mini competition's about I'll put a link up here to the video that describes how you can win a Mavic Mini. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, hit the Mad Dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this video everywhere you can. And we'll see you in the next one.